that's a really good card. Oh my god, he's 1.3 million coins. Let's go, that must be one of the best ones. I am ill and my throat really hurts. I haven't been talking for days pretty much. But we gotta have an episode and what is a better way to record a new episode than opening packs? Because either I yell at EA for it being super bad or we're gonna scream out of excitement. Oh my god, that's insane! So let's hope it's gonna be the last one because in the past episodes, we've been really unlucky. I did a lot of objectives. We're quite high in the season pass as well. So we have a lot of player picks, a lot of big packs. Hopefully today is gonna be the day. And towards the end of the video, we'll also gonna do the icon pack there's an spc right now sometimes you gotta have a little bit of fun it's gonna drain the club but hopefully it's gonna be worth it because there are quite a few icons impacts and talking about big ones we also have a few big players in the new promo putellas and neymar are the biggest ones we can pack for any of our teams and guys the first recording corrupted so let me show you the highlights because i still have it recorded on playstation let me just voice over it because well it corrupted and while we were opening the player picks we got our first walkout already we got Tan, 86 rated, out of quite a bad player pick. And we still have some good player picks to go as well. After that, we get an 84 as well. Pretty decent. But after that, it was pretty bad. But then we open a pack. All dupes, but at least it's an 85. And then we just have three big player picks left. First one, we get an 86 Benzema. And we could also get an Oberdorf. That's a pretty decent pick. Then another 83 plus. And here we get absolutely nothing but then we have a one out of four 84 plus and we get an inform out of it and a walkout as well but we go for the inform because that's just worth more and with the icon pack that we want to do we need an inform anyway so we might as well and of course this is the team we have and before this we bought some players like a tonali martinez in order to improve the team and we actually had a good run with it but then ant commented on one of the videos saying like why do you buy those players if you're going to build teams around Henri? and he actually has a solid point so from now on we will still be using players like a rui costa that we pack but don't fit any of the teams so we can use them in the main team but we won't buy any more players that don't fit any of the teams so every coin that we spend will be towards at least one of the teams that we build around Henri. so thank you for your comment thank you for the feedback and if you guys have any other feedback please let me know this is your series i'm just making it so another reason to open the big packs and hopefully get something good because we gotta upgrade this team but now it's time for some big packs we have a 50k pack 84 pluses even an 84 times four let's see what we get out of it we have 75 times 10 from rivals i didn't have time to play 15 games i was ill so i only went to the five wins was it worth it the answer is no we got absolutely nothing out of it but next week i will go for the 15 wins again and hopefully it's gonna pay out because ea we need some good stuff and then we opened from marquee matchups a pretty bad pack it shows nothing but we ended up getting an inform tradable doesn't sell at the moment but we're gonna keep it in the club because if they go up in price we can sell it if not we can always quick sell it but then we only had big packs left and 83 times 5 is the lowest pack we have and we don't get a walkout from it we got an 85 and that's it but then it's time for an 84 plus is this gonna be a walkout the answer is no of course not it is an 84 why wouldn't it then it's time for the 50k pack because it has an 83 plus the other ones have at least an 84 plus they're usually pretty bad for us and again this one really bad because we get the minimum again then an 84 double gives us an 85 and an 84 it's at least not the minimum time for the next 84 double can this be a walkout we really need one and we do we finally get a walkout and guess what? It's an 86. It's something. At this point, we should be happy with a walkout. Then it's time for an 84 times 3. Another walkout. Is this going to be a better one? The answer is yes. We get an 87 out of it. It wasn't a double walkout. The rest is very bad. But we're moving up. So maybe the last pack, which is an 84 times 4, is going to be really big. Let's find out. We expect at least a walkout out of this, right? So let's find out. Is it a walkout? Yes, it is. It is Oblak, and we already have him in the club, so it's a dupe player. But we do the icon SBC anyway, so it's very welcome. Not a double walkout. I have no idea how you can see it. Please let me know in the comments. Because someone told me once, but I still have no idea. Besides that, Frimpong is pretty decent, but not worth anything anymore. Pretty bad pack, actually. But before we go to the icon pack, let me show you why we have 350,000 coins. We sold a lot of players. All the players that I bought to improve the team, we sold. Here you can see the prices. Also, of the players that we packed, and some of them we made a loss on. 
Martinez, 10k loss, but he did carry us a lot. Same with Tonali. I think we lost like 25,000 coins on him, but he was good. And then tomorrow he was almost 40,000 coins is because there were so many SBCs of Syria and he spiked up in price. So that was very nice. Besides that, a lot of gold commons. We did sell some hunters for more than 4,000 coins. Also a Belgian manager for 2,400. I think they're way more expensive now or they were. Yeah, we had to get rid of them. We needed coins. But now we're back at the normal recording. I don't know why it happened that way. Hopefully it wasn't too annoying to watch. But I want to show you a few SBCs that we still need to do. And then the icon pack is ready. We're going straight into that. But Turam, I really want to do. He's super cheap. Can fit the French team. So why not do him? His gold card kind of carried us as well. These silver and bronze upgrades, the prime upgrades. Please do them. You trade in untradeable players. Like, make sure you do them with untradeable players. And get tradable players out of it. In a few days on my YouTube, there will be a special video about an investment that I always do every year about bronze and silver players. This is a part of it because we need silver and bronze players tradable in the club. So this is a must do. Then it will be played for Arsenal. Definitely a must do. He's super cheap. Could be our new right wing. Looks pretty decent. But time to get into the icon pack. We have three tradable packs because of it as well. Are they going to give any coins back? Let's find out. First one, really bad. As always, we keep the players, the healing item. Chemistry styles could go up. The rest doesn't look like it will sell. Next pack, also really bad. But in the end, we didn't do it for the tradable packs. But it would be nice to get some coins out of it. But it's time for the icon pack. There are quite a lot of players in there that could fit any of the teams that we're working on. One of the best ones is probably Petit because he fits the Arsenal team and the French team. And it's just a player that I really, really like in the game. But they will also have like his Umbrada and there are some other players that are quite expensive. Let's just find out who we get. Was it worth it? I don't know. It's a striker. It's Spanish. Who is this? Fernando Torres! Oh, that's a really good card. Of course, doesn't fit any of the teams, but I don't care. We have a striker for a while now. Oh my god, that's a really good one. I think that might be like the best one, right? Like, isn't he over a million coins? I didn't realize, I think he's over a million coins. Oh my god, he's 1.3 million coins! Let's go, that must be one of the best ones! I know he's a really good one, but it didn't register in my head that he was that expensive. But let me see, is there anyone that is more expensive than that? Oh my god, that's the only player over a million! We packed the best player out of this! Oh my god, that's insane! We packed the best player we could pack! Oh my god, we finally got lucky. Oh, that was worth all the bad packs to wait for this massive player. The next biggest one is 300k cheaper than him. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, that was about time. That was really worth all the bad pack luck in the previous episodes, in this episode, for this banger. I don't know what else to say, guys. What an ending of this episode. I don't remember if I wanted to show you anything else. We're just gonna leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So if you appreciate my effort, please like this video. Video. It helps me to get more into the algorithm as well, which really helps a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it.